Hello. I have some very cool stuff to show you this month. So if you have gone to the Domo Connections tours that have been all around the country, all around the world, then you probably have seen this called Domo App Studio or just App Studio. And when I've been to the Salt Lake City one, the Chicago one, I told my clients that have been there, I said, this is the one you want to watch. This, in my opinion, out of anything, this is the coolest thing. So I got my hands on it. I've been using it for only about a couple days now, but I'd like to show you some stuff. So here's one of my clients that we got the beta for App Studio, and I will show you how to do that in a minute. But here's what this thing is. So I made this sales tool right here, and let me edit it so you can see. It looks like a regular dashboard page, right? You're like, oh, okay, just like a regular dashboard. Why Why do I care? Well, there are a couple cool things that I have learned from it, from just playing with it for a couple of days now. So one is you could put all these in. These these are just like cards here. So on the left-hand side, I can do color themes, okay, whatever. It's just kind of similar to brand kit where you can make your colors the way you want them to be, fonts, whatever you want. Here's where I could do pages. So I have a zip code page for this thing. This company does pest control. So they want to be able to say how far is a zip code from a certain branch they have here. What should they price it as? We have all these things. This plus sign is where you can add new things in here. And one of the really cool ones that I want to highlight is spacer, buttons, and tabs. So with spacer, what I can do here is I can create a gap. Let's say I want this gap right here. I could do that. Now with Spacer, you couldn't do that before in Design Studio. What you'd have to do is you'd have to make like a text box, put it in there, and then make that text box, make that background transparent if you really wanted to do something like that. But well, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to rid of it. So we could do that that way. Another one that was really annoying with Design Studio, or Design, just Design, Dashboard Design, is if I wanted to change the color of each of these boxes, I would have to do each one of them individually. And that is a pain in the butt. What I can do here is I can set my style color. So I can change this to be green. And what I could do here is I could just pick to say, hey, go make all these things green, whatever I want for the style. Hey, what if I don't want that rounded corner thing? You know, I can go back to style five. I could change it. I can just change all my styles right here. And that's how I can change this to be rounded corners, straight corners, Pick a color. I could do it all in one shot if I really wanted to. So I can go to here. I can go to edit style and buttons. Or not buttons, sorry. We're doing this one instead. So I'm going to change this style five right here. You see that one? Let's say I wanted all of these to be a different color. Well, I could just do it right now. I'm going to go here. I don't know. Pick on that one. And look, done. Boom. Pow. Easy, right? And, and this gets a pain in the butt the old way where I had to do this manually for every single single uh one in there but i don't want to do that so we're not gonna do that that way so that's a really cool feature i'm gonna say cancel because i don't want to i just don't want to do those changes now that's one another really cool one is we're gonna go back here is the button so what you can do here is i can insert a button wherever i want it i'm gonna put a button right here now what i can do is i could do all this stuff right i could do an action and that is really 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 cool what i can do with this is i can say hey go open up a new page for me go put in a url to youtube if i want a tutorial video go open up a card go initiate a workflow so this is very different from just putting a link like the normal buttons that we have now ish which is not really a button right the button the button that we have now if you want to do it is you have to basically make a card or a text box and then link that to some type of link but that's a link that's not really an action like the initiative workflow pretty amazing so that's something you could do in app studio and another really cool one i'm gonna get rid of this real fast Let's click over here delete so another really cool thing is tabs i think this is really amazing so check this out i'm gonna put tabs right here I can designate three tabs in here. And what this means, I could have a different view on tab one, tab two, tab three. So imagine I when I would do dashboards, I'd have them be very long because I might have to do something like show me revenue, then show me underneath that spend, then show me underneath that orders. But now I can just do here's a tab for revenue, here's a tab for spend, here's a tab for orders for a single card, basically. So I'm going to go put in a card here. And let's go throw something in here. And let's add some content. 
and I'll pick an existing card. Sure, why not? Let's pick on. Mm, let's pick. I'm just picking something at random. I don't know what is this turnover. Sure, whatever. And let's call this first tab up here instead. Instead of tab one, let's say I wanted this to be called turnover. So do you see where I'm going with this? I could do, here's my tab one. Here's my turnover card. I could do a second tab for, I don't know, here's my sales card. Here's another one. So I could just click, click, click instead of having to go all the way down and making things bigger uh, this way. So I think tabs is fantastic. Really cool stuff. Really, really fun to play around with. There, there are definitely pros and cons with some things, but it has been fun to know. So basically... What I'll say here, I'm going to remove that. Uh, right. I'm going to say that on the left-hand side, this is where you control the design of your app. That's that's all that is. On the right side, if you click anything, that's how you control the design of a specific card. Okay, that's just how you know. Fun. So how how do you get beta access to this thing? Well, you can either know the guy Chris Wright. That's his name. Uh, Chris, C-H-R-I-S dot W-R-I-G-H-T at Domo.com. You can either email him or you can go to the community. If you go to the community, you can type in under community forms. Here's what you can do. App Studio. And you'll be right here that Anna Yardley, the fantastic Anna Yardley is, is doing, is, is putting together. And what you can do here is, while this is closed, this link is closed, just put your name in here and just say, like, hey, I'd like to, to get beta for this App Studio. Pretty amazing. I'm going to play around with it. My objective is I'm going to make a course for you later to have access to where I'm going over workflows, goals, workbench, all these extra things. And I'm going to add App Studio to that one. So that would be fantastic. Anyway, want to show you some latest tips and tricks in Domo. All right, I'll talk to you later.